So it's Monday, and uh, I just dropped off my daughter, my oldest daughter, at ASU Coding Camp. It's so cool to be on the campus to see, like, you know, where I went to college 20 years ago. It's a big week. Tomorrow is our first kickoff uh, for the team for the new, for the new business, and I am pumped. Um, we're gonna be, we're gonna launch our go-to-market um, this fall, early September, so there's a lot to do. I'm waiting for the attorney to send me um, <clears throat> the operating agreement for me to sign, and uh, at that point, it's official. Check out my assistant. What's up? What's up, Mama Stretch it up? Okay, so I'm about to get onto a call with an entrepreneur that I had invested in. She did a convertible note um, three years ago. I was the first investor to come on board for her women's focused media company. She is someone who really impressed me and I thought, okay, strategy is not totally clear, uh, but I believe in her, so I wrote the check. It turns out it was too early and I knew that once, once we got going. If I'm really honest, I knew that even when I wrote the check, but um, why did I do it? I think because I told her I was going to do it and then I didn't want to back out, even though I think I felt like I really should have. Lesson learned, follow your instinct. But fast forward a few years, we're, we're still friends. I've gotten out of that investment. She is someone who I totally respect and honors her word. It's something I aspire to be and every day I show up trying to be that. Oh, yeah, there you are. This is Anu, say hi Anu. I have you on video, can you say well, hi? I'm looking at a camera. I know. I, ha I have you on video. I'm vlogging. So <laughs> say hi. This is a new. Hi. She is a badass. No, in your in your text you said you're dating the inventor. You're dating somebody? Uh, not literally. She's a she's a she, and we oh, are. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in terms of we're going into business together, and so okay, got it, got it. as you know, got it. it's it's a marriage, and so yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've been dating each other for the last five five months. Okay. And um, we're gonna do it. It's in the consumer hardware space. What does this mean? What does this mean? English. English. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> hardware meaning we're actually selling, I, for the first time in my career, I'm actually selling a thing, like a device. I got into the Infusionsoft deal over 10 years ago. I was able to participate in, in the D round, which was great. Um, but I still have a lot of future wealth on the table, and I have no idea how that's going to play. I'm not counting on monetizing that. I'm, I'm, I'm at the mercy, right? So, yeah, equity is important, negotiate for that. But also keep in mind, too, cash. Cash is king. You see she's doing acrobatics. My little girl just woke up. We have our first team kickoff and I'm excited to get Stephanie and Reed into the room together. We're going to talk strategy, higher level strategy on this launch for the product, for the company. we got a lot to figure out so I'm actually heading in. We've got a conference room and um, we're going to capture some video today so you can get to meet some of the, some of the players. Um, you get to meet my partner for the first time. Psyched. So our first meeting of the minds, we've got Stephanie. Oh, this is her. I've been talking Hello. about her. And then we've got Reed Simpson, our Hello. our marketing genius campaign manager for the crowdfunding campaign. We got to be clear on who's driving, who owns, bringing some research or information mm -hmm. into it. What are the deadlines to that? Because there are, I think, ramifications. Every time we delay and we kick the can down the road right. on something, yeah. it's going to cost. I hired you to, to lead the crowdfunding campaign. You need this stuff to be figured out, or yeah. else you can't do your job that right. you've been hired to do. Because dominance. Because exactly. dominance. It doesn't look very pretty, um, but there's mm -hmm. about 30 to-dos in prep month one. Mm -hmm. There's about 30 to-dos in prep month two. They're very doable, um, but it's it's a balanced load. We got Stephanie at the whiteboard. <laughs> what's our what's our why? What's our what? What are the, what are we in the business of, and what do we want to accomplish? about our products and about how that touches on their lives because we're making them realize, oh yeah, I did stop going to the gym because I was peeing. I didn't put it together. Like helping them realize the real stuff. 
friend comes into the screen. Oh, don't hold it over. Reed's head if it drops. This is, <laughs> this is it. This is, this is the product. I was up till 4.30 last night. And then up at 6.30 with the baby. And I'm realizing now the game, like I was working before, but now that the game has gotten more serious and I find myself, I can't stop thinking about this idea, the market opportunity, the challenge in front of us, the fact that I'm going to need to raise money now. Um, it's not that I can't sleep because I'm a great sleeper. It's that there's just not enough hours in the day. Like I figured out actually what I really need is I need a wife. I need a wife right now. My husband's awesome. We've got a sitter. She's amazing. And I need to find more chunks of time to be able to focus, like deep down focus. You know when you don't have enough time because you're switching from task to task, right? That is, it makes deep thinking way harder. So last night I had some good, long, deep thinking. And uh, I don't know, how are the bags? It is what it is. It's startup life. I'm excited about it and we're gonna just make it work.